Okay, so, as soon as RoboCraft unfreezes here, alright, so, I said that I would make a tutorial on how to make proper robots. This is my old MinMax, well, sort of MinMax, a tutorial on how to make jets. This is my Dragon Flyby, who I will now demonstrate. There are many, many different ways to build jets, but all you basically need is a gun to shoot at people with, jets, helium tanks, and bricks. As you can see, I really abused this one to make it as lightweight and as fast as possible while keeping it tier 1. Let's take it for a test drive. <sighs> Any second now. Alright, so, the basics to flying a jet. First, get away from the computers. <laughs> it's been a while, forgive me. Okay, so, as you see, you have no real movement outside the thrusters. You have no wheels, you have no hovers. Let me get this guy out of the way. Okay, so, up pitches up, shift if you have a downward thrust would pitch you down, left and right fix your yaw, and we're going to take off now. So, taking off takes a lot of doing, lots of practice, but pretty much... As you can see by the thrusters here, I'm just holding down the forward thrust and then tapping the spacebar accordingly. Since my thruster is on the top of my jet, it has a natural downward pull, which I need to counteract with the thruster. So, these are really the barebone basics of flying, and these will come into account when building your jet. So, let's go do that. First off, I have to rip my precious creation here to pieces. Gosh, I sure hope I can remember this incredibly elaborate design. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 7, 7 by 6. Got it. Alright, so. <laughs> Delete. Delete. Delete! Okay. Typically, the easiest kind of jet to make is a frontal engine. So, to explain how a frontal engine works. Whoopsie daisy, get back here. <coughs> a frontal engine is quite, quite simple to build. All you need is this basic body. Now then, let me grab the engines. First, I'll just smack one right there. Okay, so, for a frontal engine, all you need is to make, dang it, is to make sure you have an engine pointing in each direction. First, you will want your forward thrust, your forward momentum. All the shenanigans! You will want thrusters pushing you forward. Now, because they're on top and in the back, the way they push will push you slowly downwards. If they were in the front here, they'd push you much faster downwards. But that's not what we're here to really talk about. So, for thrust to go upwards, what you want is an engine near the front pointing straight down. For turning, you want engines in each direction. And just in case you need to suddenly nosedive, an engine that pushes you downwards. Let me just uh, grab the right blocks here. Do that, that, that. Alright, so now the other part of here, I will demonstrate why this won't fly. This will not fly! It might fly, just not very well. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't really get any air. I mean, it'll go up, but that's about it. That's because we're missing one very, very important piece. The helium. Now, the thing that makes a jet complicated is you need to minimize your helium use. You want just enough helium to keep yourself going, but you don't want so much helium that it drags you down, because helium will do that. Now, I'm going to give myself some more forward thrusters here for extra momentum. 
gonna slap a gun on the bottom, because why not? Now, the other thing is you have to balance out your helium. If you put too much helium in the front, the front will lift. If you put too much helium in the back, the back will lift. It, it just it just becomes a horrible, horrible mess. So, let's us just build that. There we go. Got some helium in the back, some helium in the front. Bunch of engines, heavy frontal gun. Uh, kind of feeling like I should put that gun on top and not under, but whatever. So, hopefully this will fly. Hopefully I have guessed properly. Uh, sort of, sort of. We still got too much frontal, too much front drag. And the other problem is this jet isn't, this, this is a body. We need wings to keep us stabilized. If you have ever heard of a jet, you will know that they generally have stabilizers. So, but let's just slap some of those on real fast. Where'd it go? There it is. Aha! I found you. Okay, so. Delete. Delete. Stick it. Mm, let's stick the helium, like, here in the back. That, look, that, that, look, that looks fine. And we're just gonna slap some bricks on here. Slap some up here. Get it back going on the cockpit, make it look all fancy. Now, yes, you will want most of your weight in the back. Because if you're going to have your engines in the front, you want your weight in the back. If you're going to have your weight in the back, you want your engines in the front. It makes it easier, much, much, much easier to control it. So I'm just going to slap some engines on here. Yes, I am realizing this looks like an X-Wing. I have built quite a many X-Wing, actually. So it's a design I'm familiar with. Ah, this, this, this doesn't have enough helium. Let's try that. Alright, let's practice. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, too much roll. Too much roll. Oopsie daisy. Come on. Flip the rest of the way over. <laughs> this thing doesn't have balance. Ah, uh, that's the other problem with making jets. This this video is totally unedited, so you will be living through the mistakes of jet building. That is the unfortunate one I forgot. You do not ever want to put all your helium in the middle, because that will bone you over. You want your helium out on the sides to keep it balanced. So, we're going to stick the helium out here on the sides. Just stick some there. Stick it here. I understand this doesn't look at all fancy, but it's not supposed to look fancy, it's supposed to look functional. Yeah! Now let's get some forward momentum here. Let's get rid of that heavy funnel gun. And uh, stick some X-Wing guns on the sides, because those look boss. That is not the gun I wanted. I wanted the tier 1. For the sake of weight management. Alright, let's make it look fancy and nice and closed off. So right now this thing looks so raggedy. Whoopsie daisy. Oh no! The pilot's chair went missing! It's okay. We can salvage this. We just need a new pilot chair. Yeah. Alright, so, actually I kind of like this design, it looks kind of like a chair chair. No, it's just a... Uh, and... Okay, so, engines in the front, you got your turning engines, your nosedive engine, your thrust engine, the important one. In fact, it's so important, we're going to upgrade it to S-type. Yeah! Then you got your forward thrust engines. Yeah, we need more momentum. Yep. And then you have your... Uh, a little more momentum. <laughs> and, wait, this isn't at all connected. This will... not fall apart, actually. This is connected. Aha! 
And then we have our helium out here on the not quite as far out as we want it sides. So, almost done messing around with the look of it. Oh, another thing, you typically want more helium on the top than on the bottom, so it'll keep your jet upright. So we're just going to put some uh, normal bricks down here, and then we'll stick some helium bricks up here. Helium. And now we shall reattach the guns. Bang. Bang. Pew pew. Bang. Let's rock. So happy I'm pressing P and not O. I don't want to. Don't want to take a not working jet to actual mode. All right, this one flies. So, as you can see, it is properly balanced. <sighs> Give me a second. I will explain what is going on here. It is properly balanced, properly articulated, works perfectly. Just you notice how it's not really taking off. We haven't given it enough helium. This is the core problem with jet building. You want to give it just enough, because if you give too much, it'll drag, go horribly slow, or if you get any piece blown off, you'll fly into the nether. But if you can get it light enough, well, or if you get it too heavy, it just won't fly like it just didn't. I'll take my replace. I can replace this piece. All right, let's see if it'll. Let's see if he's lightweight enough now. Ha! Huh? Yes, I do believe he is. Barely. Nope. Nope. Not lightweight enough. Not lightweight. No. Nope. Not lightweight enough. Really? Huh. Engines are heavier than I remember. Okay. Well, when in doubt, just uh. Replace the undercarriage. Oopsie daisy. Bang bang. Bam. Uh, let's just stick these two in the sides. There. Should be light way enough now. Yes. See, now it will fly. But the problem is. It's naturally floating away. You do not want this. You won't be able to capture points. So first you want to observe how ballast your thing is. As you can see, I have more helium in the back than the front, and I just have too much helium in general. So I just need to rebalance that very, very quickly. So I have more in the back than the front, which I, I prefer. I like it when the nose drags a little. But we have too much helium in general, so let's just replace these PCs. Let's hope that's enough. Much better. Oops, sort of. I just need to uh, get the nose angled up so I can take off. But it really just doesn't want to angle upwards. Yeah, I have too much forward thrust to angle it up. Which means... Whoa. 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 Doesn't mean much. Just means I need a uh, more powerful engine, or I need an under engine. So. Since I will be going with the... Downward thrust. Yes, yes, that is what we need. We need more downward. Whoopsie daisy. More downward thrust. So, two engines lifting the nose. Ooh, hopefully that one piece just won't fly off. If it does, I can delete it later. Yeah, it just blew off. Oh, much better. Almost too much better. All right, here we go. See, we are flying. Now, I gave it so much forward, or upward momentum, I should say, that I need to tap the bar. I can't just hold it, but I can fly up, I can fly down, 
I can fly left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can fly right. Let's fly after AI Lady and shoot him to pieces. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, now let's do a backflip. Whee! Now let's stabilize and come in for a landing. This is the basics on how to make a jet. You need some left, some right, you need your helium out on your wings, or else you'll just go nonsense because you'll have no center of mass, and you need some forward thrust, some up thrust, some down thrust, mmm, thrust. <laughs> but yes, this really is just the bare bone basics on how to build a jet. Ooh, long bike, let's kill it. Bang, 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 bang. Now, to show you that this totally works, this horrible, horrid, horrid design works, let's minimize it and show that anything can fly with proper jet and helium placement. So, first, delete everything. Excuse me, I did not right-click that. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to show that anything can fly when done properly. <laughs> this is going to end up looking like a jet skeleton. <laughs> so, helium on the wings, check. Forward momentum. Oh god. <laughs> Check. Upward thrust. Turning parameters. Downward thrust in case of emergencies. Will this fly? Well, I don't know yet. Let's give it a gun because it needs to be able to blow stuff up. A jet that doesn't blow stuff up isn't really a jet worth flying. Unless you're going for a bomber, which I've only heard about, never actually seen. Okay, so we got two guns, we got some helium. Ooh, we need more helium. That's our problem. Alright. Now just about anything can fly when properly slapped together. If this doesn't fly, well, whoopee. But hey, it does fly, because it follows the rules of building a jet. Need some forward momentum, some turning thrust, some up thrust, and really the nosedive thing is totally optional. If you have this much up thrust, you can just do a backflip at nosedive. See? Like this. Whee! And bang! And it naturally sinks. It doesn't just float away. I said it doesn't just float away. Okay, good doesn't just float away. Whee. Now, of course, this thing is incredibly difficult to pilot, and you see that I am constantly losing control. You don't really want that, which is why you practice. You make your jet better, more fitted to you. Make it fit your style. Whatever you like to fly, you like to fly. Personally, I find uh, forward engines the easiest to control because it changes the nose. But despite that, I like my rear, rear steering engine, like on my Dragonfly.
So yes, that is the bare bone basics on how to build a jet. No. Let's see if I can rebuild my jet. Chica -chica. Whoopsie daisy. You know, I'm just really hoping this is right. I, I, I know this is wrong. I'm sure someone's going to open the video and go, Hey, this is different from what you did. I'm well aware. I am painfully, painfully aware that this is not the same jet. This is not the jet I've come to know and love. But will it fly? Because that's all we care about. <laughs> Hopefully it will. All I remember is that this thing is a pain in the butt to take off with. Uh, yep, it flies. Sort of. I didn't give it enough helium, so it doesn't quite have the uh, takeoff potential. And I didn't spread its wings out far enough, making it totally imbalanced to the point where I can't get it upright. But as you can see, yes, it did fly, because again, Helium on the sides, engines to let it turn. Oh, wait, wait. I got this, I got this, I got this. Yeah! Okay, helium on the sides to keep balance. Engines for turning, engine for going up, and engine for boom! I said boom! Close enough. Engine for flight. Typically, engines for flight. You don't want one unless you're doing this kind of crazy nonsense like me. Whee! Yar, we be here and gun beds are still OP. Fire broadside! Provided we could aim. Much better. Though I am liking the new camera angle, before when I'd be zoomed in, I would be stuck way, way behind this thing's sail and couldn't see a thing. Now I can see. This is nice. I like this. Oh, and uh, this is my little pirate ship. I sail on a sea of sand. Yes, I do. Shut up. Ahoy, we just discovered what plasma cannons are. Heh, <laughs> what plasma cannons are! I am a horrible person. Anyway, let's drive the gank plank galleon around and, um, fire broadside. Fire! Arr, arr, arr. Uh, mob shots, we forgot. FIRE! Oh, too high. Try this again. FIRE, dang it! Arr, ha! We hit him! 
I feel like a real pirate ship. Just shooting people from way too far away with a bunch of unnecessary cannons. Take this! I missed. <coughs> uh, hold on, let's get back on track. Arg! Oh no! It's okay, we have armor. Dang it! <laughs> Stop shooting me! Your stupid practice bot! Arr! I overshot her! Ah! Die, dang it! Good. Arr! Yarr! Arr! Oh no! My ship tipped over! <laughs> Bang! Ha <laughs> Oh man, not that I could pull it off, but, um, imagine if this was a flying pirate ship, just raining plasma down on everybody. That would be amazing. <laughs>